Hi, welcome to Big Ted's Home and Garden. In today's video, we're going to look at how to fix a smelly washing machine. The common problem with modern washing machines is the buildup of mold and bacteria. These organisms thrive in warm, moist environments like the inside of your washing machine. And over time, these deposits build up and start to give off a distinctive hydrogen sulfide bad egg smell. If you look closely at this door gasket, you can see how grubby it is just inside the rim. And if I pull the seal back further, you can see the mold that's built up inside there. And it gets worse. Where the gasket meets the drum, if I run my finger down there, I can pull out a great big lump of smelly slime. That's disgusting. So to try and get rid of that nasty smell, I've invested the princely sum of £2.30 in this. Dr. Beckman Deep Clean Washing Machine Cleaner. There are cheaper homemade options you can use, but if I damage this washing machine, I'm going to be in big trouble, so I'm sticking with the proper stuff today. The first thing I'm going to do, though, is wipe out the worst of the slime. This will get rid of the bulk of the residue, and it will increase the surface area of what's left. Doing this will make it easier for the cleaning solution to get to and kill those organisms that are causing that nasty smell. Using the washing machine cleaner couldn't be any easier. You simply open the flap on the side of the box and then pour the entire contents of the box into the bottom of the drum. Make sure there's no detergent or softener in the drawer and then close the detergent drawer and the washing machine door and you're now ready to set up the wash cycle. For the cleaner to work effectively you need to select a cycle that's got no pre-wash a temperature of at least 60 degrees C and a runtime of at least 60 minutes. Then just turn on the machine and leave it. You go off and do something more interesting while Dr. Beckman and his chemicals attack those horrible little organisms inside your machine. So the cycle's finished, let's have a look. First thing is you notice it doesn't smell anymore. And when we have a look inside the seals, yeah, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? And next to the drum, yeah, it's a big improvement. Obviously, you'll have to believe me regarding the smell, but it has completely gone. There's a very faint lemon scent instead. So, Dr. Beckman's done a good job. £2.30, well spent. Other areas you might want to consider cleaning are the detergent drawer and the cavity it fits into. These can get particularly mouldy, and it's important to keep them clean. If you don't, the jets can get blocked and the detergent and softener won't get flushed through into the machine during your cycle. If you click on the link at the end of this video, I'll show you how to do this properly. So I hope you found this useful. If you have, leave a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to Big Ted's Home and Garden. We'll see you soon.